We often see in Islamic countries, Muslim women tend to cover themselves, wearing burqa, hijab. They tend to cover their whole body as well as their hair and some even their face. And a woman who belongs to a practicing Muslim family doesn't have any choice not to cover herself even if she wants. Here the question is why? Why it is even needed for a woman to cover her body? Why this rule of covering women has become a part of Islamic ideology? What is the purpose and what kind of benefit it can bring? The rule of veiling had been mentioned directly in the Quran. We can read Surah Al-Ahjab verse 59. O Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to bring down over themselves of their outer garments. That is more suitable that they will be known and not be abused. And ever is Allah forgiving and merciful. Now from this verse we can find out answers of these questions. Who needs to cover themselves up? Only Prophet's wife and the women of the believers. And who are the believers? Men who believe in Allah and Muhammad. Only the wives and daughters of the believing man needs to cover themselves up, not all the women. And where have I got this, that the rule is not for all women? I have got this from the same verse. It is written here that that is more suitable for them that they will be known. Now, if all women start to veil themselves, then how can the women of the believers will be known? So the rule of veiling is not for all women. This is only for women of the believers. And why should they cover themselves? Because they won't be abused. Okay, so the summary is, women of the believers should cover themselves so that they can be recognized and won't be abused. It is written in the Quran. Now here the question is, who was abusing? Why it was needed to recognize women of the believers separately? To understand this, we need to check Hadith. In a Hadith we can read, narrated Aisha, the wives of the Prophet used to go to Al-Manasi, a vast open place, to answer the call of the nature at night. Umar used to say to the Prophet, let your wives be veiled, but Allah's Apostle did not do so. One night, Sauda bin Zama, the wife of the Prophet, went out at Isha time and she was a tall lady. Umar addressed her and said, I have recognized you, O Sauda. He said so as he desired eagerly that the verse of Al-Hijab may be revealed. So Allah revealed the verse of Al-Hijab. Sahih Al-Bukhari 146 So Umar, the second caliph of Islam, was embarrassing one of Muhammad's wife and he was the one who had the idea of veiling women. We can read in another hadith, narrated Aisha, Sauda, the wife of the Prophet, went out to answer the call of nature after it was made obligatory to observe the veil. She had a large frame and everybody who knew her before could recognize her. So Umar bin al-Khattab saw her and said, O Sauda, by Allah, you cannot hide yourself from us. So think of a way by which you should not be recognized on going out. Sauda returned while Allah's messenger was in my house taking his supper, and a bone covered with meat was in his hand. She entered and said, O Allah's messenger, I went out to answer the call of nature, and Umar said to me, So and so. Then Allah inspired him, and when the state of inspiration was over and the bone was still in his hand, as he had not put it down, you have been allowed to go out for your needs. Sahih al-Bukhari 4795 So Umar wanted Muhammad to tell his wife to veil. Muhammad didn't listen to him, so he tried another way, embarrassing Muhammad's wife. But why Umar wanted to veil Muhammad's wife and the women of the believers? Because believing man as well as Umar used to buy slave girls and he didn't want to mix free believing women with slave girls, so he wanted believing women to veil themselves. We can find this in multiple hadith. Narrated Anas ibn Malik, Umar saw a slave girl wearing a veil, so he struck her. He said, do not emulate free women. Again, narrated Anas ibn Malik, a female slave came to Umar bin al-Khattab. He knew her through some of his immigrants, or the answer. She was wearing a jilbab which veiled her. He asked her, have you been freed? She said, no. He said, what about the jilbab? Put it down off your head. The jilbab is only for free women from among the believing women. She hesitated, so he came at her with a whip and it struck her on her head until she cast it off her head. Anas ibn Malik said, 
the slave girls of Umar were serving us with uncovered hair and their breast shaking. Also, Anas reported, Umar once saw a slave girl that belonged to us wearing a scarf. So Umar hit her and told her, don't assume the manners of a free woman. So Umar and other believing men used to sell by slave women as a product. Nafi narrates from Ibn Umar that whenever he bought a slave girl, he exposed her legs and put his hand between her breast and her bottom hips. And when he did that, he did it from behind the clothes. So Umar and other believing men used to sell by slave women as a product and the believing men are the ones who were the abusers. That's why Umar didn't want his own women and other women of the believers to be harassed. So he pursued Muhammad to bring down a revelation. And guess what? Allah sent revelation about veiling the women of the believers. Allah agreed with Umar. We can find that in Hadith. Narrated Umar, I said, O Allah's Messenger, good and bad persons enter upon you. So I suggest that you order the mothers of the believers, i.e. your wives, to observe veils. Then Allah revealed the verses of Al-Hijab. Sahih Al-Bukhari 4790 We must know a little bit more about who is that great man with whom Allah agreed. It was narrated that Ashad bin Quaish said, I was a guest of Umar one night and in the middle of the night he went and hit his wife and I separated them. When he went to bed he said to me, O oh Ashad, learn from me something that I heard from the messenger of Allah. A man should not be asked why he beats his wife. In another hadith we can read, A man came to Abdullah bin Umar when I was with him at a place where judgments were given and asked him about the suckling of an older person. Abdullah bin Umar replied, A man came to Umar ibn al-Khattab and said, I had a slave girl and I used to have intercourse with her. My wife went to her and suckled her. When I went to the girl, my wife told me to watch out because she had suckled her. Umar told him to beat his wife and to go to his slave girl because kinship by suckling was only by the suckling of the young. So Umar, who was a wife beater, who suggested other men to beat his wife, a man who used to buy slave by touching her body, forced her not to veil herself, and that is the man Allah listened to, agrees with. And because of this man, who wanted to defer women of the believers and save women, so the man in power, the believing man, can freely abuse slave women, can enjoy their naked body. Because of that man, women now cover herself, suffer from vitamin D deficiency, headache, scalp problem, hairful problem, don't enjoy wind in their hair because of that man. The rule of veiling didn't come to increase anyone's respect, but to separate women into two categories. And it was not in the hand of the women, it was not her choice if she wants to cover herself or not. Even if she was a Muslim woman, it was not in her hand that she can cover herself or not. She had to be a free believing woman. And it was Umar's decision, Umar's choice, which women can cover herself and who can't. And the belief to be God, Allah, agreed with him. It is such a deception, most of the people don't even know the reason of the rule of veiling and it's shameful that women feel proud by covering themselves thinking that it increases their respect in any way. There's nothing wrong with however someone wants to dress themselves up but if the purpose is to feel superior than other women and being judgmental then this is definitely not an ideal social scenario. Human is a part of nature and most importantly we are not just our body, not just a sexual object. It's shameful if we always have to think about even among our own species that we are not safe, we are just a sexual object. If we have some place to improve, then we should improve individually. But is that even a solution? That we hide ourselves by thinking we are just a sexual object? Others will get aroused by looking at us so we need to hide ourselves? Thanks for watching. If you have found this video useful, then please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video will be uploaded. Thank you.